that's actually how I started playing Fortnite. It was like one of my best friends from school. He like told me I should try it. But that was back then when I was playing on, on uh, PlayStation. So we started playing together uh, around Christmas times. And after some months, I actually realized I can get pretty good. This is an emote. Normally when I win, I normally do that. Because I like it, it's cool. When I see the trophy, I remember me and Aqua at the World Cup. When me and Narox qualified for the Fortnite World Cup, it was one of the best moments of my life because we knew our lives were going to change. The 50 best duos in the world on the stage, they want the crown of being the first ever duos world champion. I was really confident because I felt like we were ready for it. If you have the perfect duo mate, you can be the best. And I think we can be the best. Your Fortnite World Champions, Aqua and Naira! Aqua was born in Austria and he has lived his whole life here. When the children were little, Aqua's dad and I decided to go different ways. Aqua was one year old when his dad left. I love my mom. She's probably the most important person in my life. She's doing everything for me and my sister. I couldn't wish for a better mom. I love her so much. When Aqua was growing up, he was very friendly and sporty and talented. His first word was boy, not mom. <laughs> Aqua was playing at a soccer team. They won many prizes. So he'd get used to winning. When he was a child, a little child, he had many friends. But the more he grown up, the less friends he had. Starting around 13, 14, he did homeschooling. So he never went out. I was pretty much alone on my PC. That's all I did. Uh. He started playing video games. I found out in January this year that he was playing Fortnite. I think there's no limit in Fortnite. You always can improve. That's probably why I love playing Fortnite. Then, in April, Aqua suddenly began speaking English in his room. You fix your voice. Wait, you fix your voice. You know that we're in the game, we're in the same game every time. And I was thinking, what's going on? That was the first time that I heard him speaking English. It's hot drop, it's hot drop, it's hot drop. And then he informed me that he is playing with Nyrex. I live in Tensburg in Norway, which is actually the oldest city in Norway. I first heard about Aqua when I saw him on the leaderboards in a solo cash cup tournament. At the time, he only did YouTube and Twitch in German, so English people didn't really hear him. I sent him a message and asked if he wanted to try out because I heard he was looking for a deal. When I first talked to Narox, 
I was scared that my English is too bad. He agreed on trying. Uh, we did really good in, in pro games against other pro players. But then it worked out. We played good together. And we went into our first tournament where we placed 10th place and got $2,000 out of it. So how talented he was, and he wasn't really known. So I thought uh, we could fit perfectly. At that time, Narek was actually known as a good Fortnite player and was picked up by a French team. Is there a tournament tonight? Yeah, there's a three tournament at night. Okay, with uh, Droban and Felix? Yeah. War Legends? Yeah, War Legends. Okay. My dad started seeing behind me because he was interested in the game and he wanted to learn about it. And then it actually turned into something he did every tournament. So now, when I play, he normally sits behind me and watches. I'm not a professional Fortnite player, but I'm a professional watcher. <laughs> so I try to give some advice because of my sports background. I work in the Norwegian Triathlon Federation. My daily work is to work with the top athletes. Of course, there is a similarity between Nairox and the top athletes. It's very important for him to be focusing and practicing and have the correct sleep schedule. But I think it's important for him to have a normal life as well. It helps me a lot meeting my friends because I get a pause or a break from Fortnite. I also enjoy having a big family because when we're on holidays and vacations, there's always something to do with someone. There's a great team behind Narox. Everybody in the family is very supportive and helps out the best way we can. Me and Aqua started practicing together one month before the World Cup qualifier started. In the beginning, of course, they had to train about the communication skills. After a few days of practicing, there seems to be a very good duo. It was the second week of deals. We were both at home. I was in Austria, he was in Norway. Brilliant from Aqua, putting on a display. We did really good in the first three games. So we got to the last game. This is huge. Nara and Aqua need to convert on this game. Aqua cleans it up from the high ground. Well done for them. When we won the last game, I jumped out of my chair and I looked at the leaderboards to see if it was updated. These guys have all punched their tickets, so let's put them on up the board, get those first qualifying spots. Then when it came, we all celebrated and started cheering a lot. We were screaming. We were all screaming. <laughs> it was a big happening in, in our house when they, they actually qualified to, to the final in New York. It was unbelievable. We know, we knew our lives gonna change. They have never met each other, but the team was arranging a boot camp and they met for the first time. We hang out all the time. We did everything together, like uh, practicing. We were good friends staying at boot camp together. Our relationship was really good. And then I was in Austria with my mom, and our flight was 13 hours or something. The thing was going through my mind. Like, we're doing it now, we're flying to New York. It was just awesome knowing that I'm gonna play in like less than one week for like three million dollars. It was my first time in New York. Meeting all these players was such a great experience. It was nice, like you could have met everyone, you could have talked to everyone, it was fun. Oh.
Can you play now? Before I thought he has no social contacts, and there he was speaking to everybody. Everybody wants to speak to him. I saw him growing up because he was acting like a normal guy. Aqua and Narok's friends, those 10 to 15 players, was doing sightseeing. They're going to Empire State Building in Brooklyn Bridge and just walking around Times Square and having a good time before the final. The morning before the game, I was kind of nervous. I was laying in bed and just thinking of uh, how it was going to be and how big the stage was. I recognized that he was kind of nervous. So I told him during breakfast that today we're just going to have fun. Just enjoy the moment. <laughs> I feel it was an incredible feeling, knowing like, we're doing it now. And I'm really excited. Ladies and gentlemen, we're here today for the duos competition. Nyrox and Aqua, these guys have been on the rise and a lot of people are starting to realize how good they are. Before we went into the stadium, they choose us to do an interview before the World Cup starts. He was so loud in the stadium, I couldn't understand what he said. We've got Nyrox and Aqua here. Aqua, what do you think makes this the perfect match for you guys? Yeah, we're gonna win. Fantastic, great. Mechanically gifted, comms are fantastic. I couldn't understand what he asked me. So I just said, yeah, we're gonna win. It's kind of funny. I remember we talked about the strategy we were going to do. Landing near Happy Hamlet, playing the bowlers, which was in the game. We went against the top 50 duos in the world. The favorites was probably those Mega, Benji Savage, Saf and Say, and Mitchell Mongrel. The, all of them actually did good. If we do that to some kid in Tilted, they're not going to come again. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Fortnite World Cup Finals. I've been waiting for it. Yeah. Best of the best, all in the same lobby. I wasn't under pressure at all. I felt like I'm playing a normal cup. We were ready. The battle bus has launched! In the first game, with everything we need, two ballers, six imposers, six shadow bombs. We had a really good start in the first game, but then we found out Storm Surge was about to kick in which makes people that have the lowest amount of damage in the game uh, getting struck by damage. And we stressed, we jumped out of our base and tried to find something we could hit. But we ended up getting eliminated. Getting dropped by Storm Surge, tough first game for them. So you don't want to be put in that situation where you know you have to desperate push. After the first game, I wanted to switch the strategy. But then Aqua said he believed in the strategy and that we should keep trying that. But then we ended up in a bad position in the game and we got taken out. In game three, Aqua, he got taken out. Aqua is going to be down. 
not gonna be easy. Come out with a lobby like this. So I was solo. But then I got eliminated. This has just not been their game so far. I was super upset. We were top 30, I think, down by like 20 points. At the top, it's Saf and Zayt with 38 points. These games are going to be so critical. Games three and four really set that tone. I felt frustrated. I was giving up. I wanted to quit and, and uh, not play anymore because I was super annoyed at what happened. I was worried. I saw that he was nearly giving up, but I saw also that they were communicating together. I told Narox, you should never let things like this affect you because you're gonna play worse in the next game then. Just never stop believing we can do it. Me and Aqua were just talking about how one game could switch everything up and uh, we just had to pop off one game. Here we go, folks. Let's see who's gonna come out on top. Are we gonna see a repeat winner? Are we gonna get a new one? It's now time. Let's start game four. And in the fourth game, everything worked. We got tags off people. Aqua and Nyrox are way up top, uncontested. They're tarping this up and they're putting down shots. They're synergized, they're communicating. Nyrox takes out Falconer down low. This is their game to win. He does manage to get the elimination and in the storm, he gets the victory royale! Yes! After game four, me and Alcoa were very hyped. We knew that we could turn everything around. So what I told him was that, let's just do a back-to-back -back win. We, like Nyrox said, let's do back-to-back, -back. we got this. And I was hyped. Nyrox and Aqua currently on their way. I did the World Cup trophy emote. We got some eliminations in mid-game. Aqua, Tyrox, looking to pick up back-to-back -back victory royale. We took high ground, stayed on top like the whole game. Look at the high ground, folks. Spray from that minigun. He continues to rain down fire. Pressure coming on in, they drop down low! There it is! Yeah! They win it again! What do you feel in this moment is just... I couldn't believe it was true. We were crying and jumping and everything. So it was amazing. It's the two victory royales now for Nyrox and Aqua, definitely moving them way up the leaderboard. It was insane. After game five, they were second. There's a chance of, for them to be on the podium. of this game, we will crown the first ever Fortnite World Champion. Nyrox, Aqua, the back-to-back -back winners. Every single point is gonna matter coming down to the last moments.
we going into game six. I was just having fun. We eliminated Mitro. Then we secured high ground, like on the high hill. This is one of the best, if not the best duo in Fortnite right now. Oh my gosh, the heavy snipe. One point, but one first and second. I took a shadow bomb during moving zone. Nyrox goes down. I was really upset about that. But then I saw that Akko was still alive. And he had a ton of HP, a ton of mats. So I just told him to keep going. Akko's all by himself. Shots still coming out through. Aqua with one. He goes down. We'll have to see where they end up as we look to crown our champions. Who do you think won? There's an energy in this room right now. I'm just looking around. Everyone has their cameras ready for when the announcement comes. The results are in. Aqua and Nairo! I can't really remember what was going through my mind. It was just insane. We both just stood up and started celebrating. When we saw the leaderboard and we saw we are first, we couldn't realize because it's three million dollars and we just stand there and said, yeah, we won World Cup. One duo reign supreme. So let's go ahead and make it official right here in the winner's circle. Gentlemen, the trophy is yours. Your Fortnite World Champions, Aqua and Nairo! I was asked to go up on the stage with Aqua's mother. I think I said to them that you are ice cold guys. I think it was the best feeling I've ever had. Staying there with my mom, she was so happy. I was very proud of him. But the most proud moment was not winning the World Cup. It was in the hall. He was speaking to the guys. He wasn't shy. He had friends. He was completely a part of something. We were super proud of each other. We both know we were super good too. And everything was perfect in the last three games, so we won, yeah. The World Cup is probably the greatest thing that's happened to me and it was the best moment in my life. After that, I actually learned that you should never give up. Even though we had three bad games, we still kept going and we believed in each other. 
after we won, we went back to the hotel. And I just wanted to go to sleep because next day there were solos. The day after the finals, Akko sent a message saying he wanted to break up. It kind of shocked me, but I didn't, I didn't get sad or anything of it. It was just really weird that he wanted to split after we won the finals. But I remember asking why, kind of. I think the reason was that um, he wanted to play with Stompy because they're both German, so they could talk German together. And he felt like they were a better duo than me and him. Of course, Narox probably d uh, don't like it a lot because we won World Cup. I mean, why should we split? But me and Narox was only playing on tournament days. I just said to Narox, I want to try out with Stomp in the next tourneys because we are playing it all day long. We are pr like we are not doing anything else and playing together. So I think it's the right decision to switch partners for me. I wasn't really hurt, but in start, I was kind of confused on the way he did it, and he didn't really give it time. I thought maybe we should go back home and like try more and see how it goes, but I wasn't really surprised because we talked about it before the finals that he, or he played a lot with Stompy and they were good friends, so. I want to be the best. I want to, I want the best chance for my team to be on top. So if I can speak German and it's better for me, I'm going to speak German with Stompy. And if you have the perfect duo mate, you can be the best. And I think we can be the best. Right now, I'm living in London. The location is super good, uh, the internet is super good. That's the important thing. It's amazing because he has a very high level and he is still playing on this high level. Shockwaves go up, it's a beam, Nick ever goes down. It's a 3v1 at the moment, the big shotgun, the victors of the region. Chicken. Stompy, Aqua, congratulations. You are the European Season X champions. It's empty. In my future, I want to stay on top, placing high in every tournament. And yeah, be the best. <laughs> Since the World Cup, I've been on national television. I started writing autographs to fans. For Norwegians, a world champion is huge. Suddenly, Narox became a national hero. But the mentality in Norway is that the next one is the best. So the world championship is now history. Now we need to focus on the next tournament. The next part that's going to be the most fun is when I go to finally compete again at LAN. Maybe Rock White will be there. There's no hard feelings between us anymore, and we're so friends, and can't wait to meet them again and say hi. <laughs> <laughs>